All right, everybody, welcome to Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. We have, uh, we're continuing down our path of meet the staff, and today we're gonna meet our most nervous staff. <laughs> nervous about being on camera, but she's actually, uh, I'm gonna pump her up a little bit before we hit the headlines, because uh, I know she's nervous over here. But uh, Alana did a great job with our 48 hour film contest. If you haven't seen the show, the, our movie that we filmed for the 48 hour film contest, uh, it's on YouTube. Just scroll down. It showed up a few months ago, but Alana was a big help with that. She showed up. She did great in her scenes. Uh, she had a little bit more prep. I sprung this on her, so, uh, but we'll hit the headlines first and then we'll jump into Alana uh, and see how she's doing and uh, learn a little bit about her. Starting with the headlines. You ready? Here we go. Robert, you ready for some headlines? Yep. Okay. Here we go. I'm ready. This is going to make you feel better. Okay. Chuck Norris. <laughs> Chuck Norris, in his 80s, says, try this once a day, try this once a day for more energy. That moment when Chuck Norris makes a Chuck Norris joke. I went in, and I bent down, and I petted him, and all of a sudden, you hear this, like that. So the trainer says, get up very slowly and back up. So the tiger did. He slowly got up and backed out. You guys don't get it because Chuck yeah. Norris is crazy film. Okay. All right, that's Chuck Norris. Yeah, Chuck Norris making jokes about Chuck Norris, which is great because Chuck Norris is awesome. I've watched him forever. Ooh, I almost got a little. I got the Zoomers. <laughs> uh, yeah, Chuck Norris is great. Love that guy. All right, moving right along. Plants can clean toxic chemicals from the air in hours, study shows. Well, that's shocking considering the fact that plants only do one thing, make oxygen. That's it. Our planet was uninhabitable until oxygen was produced. Yes, algae started to grow and producing oxygen and eventually they made, it made, plants made enough oxygen that we could breathe, that life could live on this planet. This is not science, knock it off. That's Whoa! That's weird. <laughs> got Catherine hey, that girl, that's weird. That's weird. That yeah, no. We're just finding oh, out I that uh, yeah. oh, plants can it's clean the air science, with oxygen. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Careful, getting all choked up. I'm okay. You yeah, need more oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> get some plants in here. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, all right. Enough of the headlines. Let's get on with it. We are here with uh, Robert and Alana. And we're going to learn a little bit about Alana. As nervous as she is, she's going to do great. Uh, and we all love Alana. So, Alana, tell us just a little bit about yourself. So, something maybe we don't know about you that's interesting. Like, you like to make movies. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to practice my questions. I wasn't okay. ready for my interview. A little bit about yourself. <laughs> so the good part about this is now you know when we're doing trainings on a little bit tell me a little bit about yourself how robert feels you know and yep. alex oh, so much likes. easier when the camera isn't there. When the camera isn't on so what do you like to do uh for in your spare time on the weekends okay i like to sew what? To sew. Really? I um, like to paint and draw. Oh. I like to learn something new at least. <laughs> oh. What's, n what's next that's new on your list of things you want to learn? Ooh. What are you thinking about right now? Well, one I just accomplished was sewing. I didn't know how to sew, but I taught myself how to sew. Cool. Um, what did you sew to learn how to sew? Socks? No. <laughs> it was actually a stuffed animal I made for my sister. Really? For her birthday. Yes. Wow. Oh, that is it's wild. a bat. Well, I was impressed for her. <laughs> that is so cool. It is and, a bat. And she brought I knew my, Carl would my love PTSD. it. <laughs> so we're going to move on to our next question. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, so why work in this field other than to torment me with bats? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, at first... It started with my sister. She told me about this job, mm -hmm. and my family 
has a lot of people with disabilities, special needs, and I was the main caretaker. Um, you know, I was a big help. So thought it'd be cool to get a job that, you know, I could spread my help around. Like I said, it started with my sister, but then found my own purpose here. Oh. And it was cool getting to know everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Finding your purpose. I, that's, um, finding your purpose is a really cool thing that a lot of people don't actually get to sometimes. You know, they wonder, what am I doing at this job and stuff? And, you know, why do I do this? You know, why am I here? It's like finding that purpose is a cool thing. So, very cool. I like that. Robert, you got a question over there? Yeah. Uh, so, what is your favorite thing about working here? Oh, Robert really wants to know. I me know. too. Yeah. Favorite thing? <laughs> Enlightened me. Getting to see everyone every day. Really? That's my favorite thing. I love the good mornings and the goodbyes. Um, getting to learn something new every day, hopefully. Some things aren't new, some things are, but I love talking to everyone every day. Oh, wow. That is cool. That is that is a nice thing. It is. We kind of forget about it sometimes, but it's cool to go to a place where everyone kind of likes to see each other and likes to hang out and it's more, it's more family sometimes mm -hmm. than yeah. not. And uh, even though we have a job to do and we got work to do, but we still care about one another and this is one of those places that Caring matters the most. Right. So you did okay, Alana. No. Yeah. <laughs> so Let's give Alana a round. Of nice job. Yeah. Nice job. All right, that is Alana, everybody. <laughs> Why don't you, uh, after this episode, you can go up and congratulate her on a nice job, pat her on the back, and tell her no, good job. No, it's okay. Thank you, Alana, for sharing. All right, you're free to go. Oh my God. Thank you, Alana. All right, so now we're back with Roxanne. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Robert. Hey, Alex. Yeah, let's clap for you. All right, so we're continuing with our uh, get to know our staff, learn a little bit about our staff, and uh, we'll start off with some simple little questions. Yeah. The trickiest one of all. Tell me a little bit about yourself. <laughs> Tell me, or say, you guys, didn't I just ask you guys that question? Yeah. Yes. Um, oh, boy. Uh, tell me a little bit about myself. Well, I've been working in this field for over 30-something years. I really enjoy my job. I really, really do. I enjoy the population that I work with. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's about it. Now you're a car lady, though, aren't you? You're in cars? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have a, a low rider that yeah, is pretty much fixed up. Lots of money in it. <laughs> <laughs> As fixer upper cars go, so the older one. My has. car is also over 30 years old. Uh, what is it? It's a Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme Broham. What it's got year? T tops, 86. 86, what? Wow. Nice. nice. It just got painted <laughs> again. <laughs> what color? I yes. don't know. It's a. Uh, Surprise to me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Hopefully you like it. <laughs> as long as it ain't red, I'm good. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Very cool. Well, good stuff. Been in the field a long time. So yes. um, that leads to the next question, which is, uh, how did you come about choosing this field? Actually, I uh, started at the Stockton State Hospital. Okay. I started out as a student assistant. In their school area. Okay. So I helped out the teachers that would go to um, go on the wards and pull the kids to the day program. Sure. And yeah, I enjoyed it. I did it as a summer summer job, and I just stayed with it. Yeah. And the state hired me for three years. Oh, very cool. So you were there for three years, and then. Yeah. Out to some other programs. Well, no, actually, um, one of the programs that I went to, the first program that I went to, day program, they were on the state grounds. Oh, okay. And as they grew, they moved out on their own. Ah. So then I went with them. There you go. So A long yeah. Time in the field, which is yeah, pretty cool. Very nice. The, that that definitely means that you kind of like it. I do like it. <laughs> It, People don't stick around for a long time. rewarding, <laughs> but yeah. All right. Well, that kind of leads to Robert's question. Okay. Yeah. So, what is your favorite thing about working here? I like the people. I like 
my co-workers. And a couple of the clients? I don't saw my clients. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I don't have any favorites, so don't get mad, because I, I love y'all. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. I yeah. enjoy working with you guys. That's cool. what uh, Alana, who was on before you, that was her thing, is uh, she loves the mornings, all the hellos, and saying hi to everybody. Yeah, it's yeah. More kind of, you know, it's... You it's make not me feel family. so welcomed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people are excited to be here. More They're happy to be here. Friendly it's environment. Yeah. This is a very friendly environment. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's very good. It's very fulfilling. Yes, it know. is. I do agree. Yeah. I've actually worked in places where nobody really wants to be there. <laughs> it's, really, <laughs> it's really awkward. So it's really cool to be in a place where everybody kind of wants to be there. Everyone wants to do the best they can. And yeah. Enjoy one another. Oh. Yep. Yep. Very cool. All right. Well, you can stay and hang out as we yep. round out the show. Jumping. Uh, actually, it's uh, Wednesday, so yes. we're not going to go back in the past. What are we going to do with Zach? Work related stuff. Work with related Zach. stuff with Zach right here. Work related, related stuff, stuff, stuff with, with Zach. 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 We got Serena here today. Hello. Uh -huh, awesome. So we're going to go over some, hey, we're not going back in the past. What are we doing today? Work related stuff. Work related stuff with Zach. So we're going to talk about constructive criticism. Have you ever had somebody come up and want to help you out, but then you get a little bit like, I don't, I don't need help. Have you ever had that feeling before? Yeah. Yes, it's hard, huh? It sometimes is very hard. Well, in our workplaces where we work, and in general, but really we're gonna focus this on work, in work sometimes it is a good thing to have somebody come up to us and maybe point something out so it kind of helps us get better, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the first thing is on this little list so we're gonna Serena and I we're gonna give you six little tips how to handle that constructive criticism the first one is do not react stay calm when the person comes to you because your first reaction is likely going to be negative I've talked about this a lot we just kind of talked about it right now usually when someone comes up and says hey let's have a talk your first reaction is like oh no what did I do so remember stay calm all right uh, number two is uh, learn to listen. Definitely, uh, very important, right? Because how can we get help and receive this constructive criticism at work if we don't listen? If we don't listen, and if you're not understanding, by all means, ask questions and repeat. So the third thing is here: understand the benefits of feedback. Okay, remember, feedback is not to make you feel bad about what you're doing. It's supposed to be a teaching moment, don't you think? I mean, yeah. if someone's willing to take the time to talk about something maybe that you're not doing well, right? That means they're invested in you, right? Because mm -hmm. I would leave that if someone's willing to take the time to talk to me and give me a little criticism, you know, constructive criticism, a little help, that's a good thing because they could simply sit back and just watch me mess up and that, that means they're not invested in us. So what's number four? Number four is thank uh, the person. Yes, we want to thank the person. Always be appreciative of the, the corrective criticism. Very important. And you know what? The reason is, number one, you should be thankful that they're willing. And it's also thanking them for the time they took to help you out. All right. Number five, ask questions to get more feedback. Feel free to ask some questions. Feel free not to just sit there and go, yes, sure, yeah, okay, I got it. Sure, gonna do it. Yeah, no, no, it's okay to ask a question. And <laughs> it's okay. Hey, how you doing? Hand, hands, hands, hand. Say hi to the hands, Serena. That question. <laughs> yes, your question, sir. Hand. Hi. Can I join? Yeah, you can join in. Thank you. Yeah, hi. So Carl's here. Hi, Carl's here. Hi. I don't know what he's doing here, but he's here. So, all right, and so... I just had a question. Oh, you have a question? What is your question? Can I join in? Yes, you can. See, oh, Hi. Carl's asking questions, you guys. 
He wants more feedback. So we're going to give him some more feedback. Oh, Carl, feedback. Yes. Carl, you're doing a really great job. And uh, I appreciate the way that you uh, entered this, uh, you know, this, this, this filming with us, I think. You know, you're doing well. You're doing very well, Carl. Thank you. I think uh, one thing in the future, maybe uh, we can talk about it before you just surprise us like this. Oh. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. So, so maybe I shouldn't interrupt. Yeah, possibly. Mm -hmm. Possibly. Oh. Well, thank you for sharing that with me, Zach. I will take that into consideration. Awesome. Awesome. But right. hey, hang around, but you don't have to leave yet. And the last thing is, Serena. Request a follow up not time. Request a follow up time. Hey, when you get done having this conversation, yeah, oh, we got the hand back. Hey, hand. Go on back in here. Is this a good time to follow up? It, not necessarily a good time to follow up. We're in the middle of something. Okay. All right. Well, thank yeah. you for sharing that with me. No, you're, you're welcome. I'll, 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 I'll catch you in a little bit. I'll, okay. I'll, yeah, I'll come see you in a little bit. Yes. Make sure you definitely give some time and then come back and maybe ask them, do you have time so I can follow up? Sometimes you might want to be reassuring yourself that you're following the steps of the criticism. Or not criticism. I don't like criticism. It's really, it's constructive. It's helping. But, uh, um, when you get that help, come back, you know, but like I said, schedule a time. Don't just pop in the middle of someone's video or in the middle of somebody's training. So now what do you think of all this? I think it's very helpful and it's so you can understand what to put the situation and then you can do a better job on the next round. Ah, honored person. Serena nailed it, you guys. Carl was great to come on in and help. You guys, we're out of here, man. You guys have a good one. Work-related stuff with Zach. Work-related work stuff, stuff with, with Zach. 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 All right, very good. I don't know what he did because we're filming kind of out of order here, but <laughs> it's always good stuff. Zach has a great, uh, uh, a great way of displaying certain things and connecting with folks and stuff. So we saw Zach on Monday. Uh, next up is our National, National Day, Day with, with Gabrielle. Gabrielle. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, and what is Wednesday? Hump Day! <laughs> that was very impressive, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I suddenly had this surge of energy running through me. That's great. Couldn't have been a more of an apropos moment to be able to do that, right? Yeah. So, I'm going to say it's a great day because this is something that I enjoy. It is National Bourbon Day. Ah, bourbon. Bourbon. Awkward. <laughs> one bourbon, one scotch, one beer. Oh, great song. Yeah. A yeah. First Thorough Good Classic for all you boys and girls out there. That's right. Good good song. Absolutely. Uh -huh. um, I recently, back in, I think October it was, went to Kentucky and did the Bourbon Trail. It's very interesting. Uh -huh. There's, you know, a craft about it, just like making any other beverage, food, whatever. And they take it very seriously in Kentucky. Oh, they bound to be, because that's where bourbon is like, it's the... That's, it's the homeland of bourbon. That's, it is the homeland. It's the mothership, right? Yeah. I tell you. Um, I tasted, you want to know a really weird one I tasted? Throw me. It was bourbon that had been um, put in a pickle barrel. Really? <laughs> yep. It was a craft one. I had one that they had taken the bourbon after so long, and then they took it and put it into barrels where pickles had been well that is that it was, is interesting it was it wasn't the best tasting thing now then they put ones in that had been uh, maple syrup had been in them too that wasn't too bad ah. but it can only be consumed uh, consumed as bourbon it can be in the barrel only one time and it cannot touch any other barrel that's, yeah, so no monkeys in the barrel. No monkeys in the barrel. No putting that. If once you put it in another barrel, like the, the one with had you know the pickles in it, now it's considered a craft bourbon. It's not a single whatever bourbon. So it's a mixed breed bourbon. It is a mixed breed. Boy, was it! 
It was interesting, <laughs> needless to say. And the gentleman that was behind it that ha was telling us that he was the crafter, he was an interesting cat too, so I could totally see it. But um, they do take it very seriously like here. Around here we have like craft beer, lots of craft beers. Yeah. And in Kentucky it's bourbon. And yes, indeed, they take it seriously. So I don't know how many of you out there, your parents or your grandparents or whatever, but you know, just had to let you know that it's on a hump day. Wednesday. It is Bubbins. National Bubbin Day. Yeah. Hey. All right. Nice. That was, was Gabrielle. Bourbon and Coke. <laughs> <laughs> that was Gabrielle. National yes. Bourbon Day, yeah. Um, not sure what to say about that. <laughs> Urban Day. Uh, said, bourbon chicken, though. <laughs> no, enough said. All right, guys. Have a great Wednesday, 1 o'clock. Facebook. Facebook. I still do that. YouTube we did, Live. We did YouTube Facebook Live. for so many years. Years we did Facebook Live. Yeah. So I'm still getting used to the YouTube Live, 1 o'clock, where yes. we'll do Job Hunt Live. Who knows what's going to happen? It'll be good stuff. Maybe Roxanne will be there. She hates it when we bring her on the... <laughs> <laughs> she does great, though, but everybody does a good job. All right, guys, have a great Wednesday. Thank you, Roxanne. Thank you, Alana. Thank you, Robert. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you Thursday on The Morning Routine. <laughs>